Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion. If you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What I've got for you is an overview and some benchmarks on the new uh, Radeon R9270X graphics card. This particular one is the Gigabyte overclocked version. Uh, it does have two gigs of memory on it and as you can see we've got their uh, custom cooling solution with the uh, three fans and so let's take a closer look at that and then I'll show you the benchmarks. So here we have a closer look at the Gigabyte Windforce R9-270X um, graphics card. This is the newest, one of the newer graphics card offerings for GPUs from AMD. And this does feature their Windforce 3X cooling design and triangle cool technology. What this does is reduce the turbulence and keep the noise levels down as well as giving you better thermal operation to keep your temperatures down. So you've got three fans on this and you can see the heat sinks through the side there including the three 8 millimeter copper heat pipes uh, pulling the temperature, you know, the high temps away from the GPU and exhausting them out of the car. It does have an overclock on it from the stock speeds. Um, stock is 1000 megahertz with a 1050 boost. This gigabyte card has a boost of 1100 megahertz on it. The memory itself is running at 1400 megahertz which is 5600 megahertz effective and it does have two gigs of GDDR5 memory on it with a 256 bit interface. So you're not going to have an issue with bottlenecks with the memory on this. You also have your PCI 3.0 uh, X16 connector here the plastic wind force shroud uh, protecting the heat sink and fans and on the top you can see we've got two six pin connectors for power on the back of the card you've got a DVI-I port, DVI-D port, HDMI 1.4A and also a display port it is a dual slot card like most cards nowadays so it will take up the two slots in your system and on the back you can see you've got the four screws for the heat sink itself as well as the crossfire connection here on the top some other information about the Radeon R9-270X graphics card is that it does have 1280 stream processors with a compute performance of up to 2.69 teraflops and a typical TDP of 180 watts. It also supports the DirectX 11.2 um, API which will be coming out with Windows 8.1. Ultra HD 4K resolution and this Gigabyte card has a digital PWM for GPU memory voltage adjustments and of course Ifinity technology on board. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and benchmarks for the Radeon R9-270X graphics card. Um, as you can see from the benchmarks, you've got a nice uh, competitor for the mainstream gamer out there coming in at frames per second of over 30 in all the games that we tested. And at $199 price point, Gigabyte definitely has a winner on their hands here for the mainstream gamer. And we're going to award this the High Tech Legion Gold Award. For the full review, please see www.hightechlegion.com. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.